So the story, I was walking with my friend like two or three days ago and we just ran into to the Georgian man. He was talking with us in Georgian language, but we don't know Georgian language. And we will, uh, we was talking with him in English, just like, hello, I'm sorry, we don't speak Georgian, we speak English. And he was like, Vruski, are you Russian? And uh, we were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because my friend, he's from Azerbaijan and I'm Jewish, so I'm not Russian, to be honest. And But we know Russian as well, and we were like, uh, yeah, we know Russian, uh, what do you want? And he was like, do you want to drink wine with me at my home? <laughs> so it was a really good idea, so we agreed, and this is Aunt Murat. His name is Murat, he is a Georgian man, he's like 70 years or something and we were in his home, he has a really, a really good son, he's 29 and his name is Georg, Georgi, this is like the most popular name in Georgia, so we were just having fun, drinking wine, eating what were we eating? I'm just sandali. This is a dish of potato, eggplant, and uh, mm, some vegetables. So that's our new friend, 70 years old, in Georgia. I don't know how it works, but we need to go to his house again, and I will play piano on his house. That's a story. Uh, where did you meet this man? Just on the street. In Tbilisi? Yeah, just like maybe two streets uh, ago of this cafe. Is it in the evening? What? At night? N no, oh. just in the afternoon. Oh, okay. uh, to be honest, I said to my friend after this meet that it's like a sign of, uh, I don't know, God or of the world because we were going and arguing because I was on my phone and my friend was like why are you always on your phone can you just talk to me and I was like shut up my friend I don't want to talk with you why are you so aggressive to me and suddenly this man just from nowhere he was like hi guys do you want to drink wine with me and there is no conflict with my friend just it disappears in one minute because we run, ran into this man. That's uh, the story. So you don't feel scared when people say, "Can you? do you want to go to my home and drink wine? To be honest, all our friends was like, why did you do that? Because what if he... What if what if he wanted to kill us or rape us or just to, I don't know, to to do something bad to, to us, but we was like, why not? That will be a really good adventure. <laughs> like, because of wine? Because of wine, because of Abdi Sandali, this uh, dish, because of his house. Oh, also, he made a gift for me. I can show you. There is a really good dress. But like it's really weird too. She make that to you? Yeah, that is a wedding dress. It's look like that. It, it belong to him? I don't know why did he give me that. Did he, he tell you? This dress. Did what? he tell did he tell you why he gave it to you? No. He was like, oh sweetie, do you like all this stuff in my home? I was like, yeah, cool home, I like it. And he was like just can take it. <laughs> okay, I will take this wedding way. So now I'm ready for the wedding. By the way, I don't have a wife or husband. So do you have somebody you like, love? <laughs> I have myself Ooh. and my you can wear it. and you my can. career. I have my job. That's what I like. Mm. So if I can, like, to be. <laughs> to have like a wife and or a husband and it will be my job that's still cool i like money i like work i like to build a career so 
I don't have anybody who loves me and anybody who I like. So you so. never feel scared if people say that uh, you want to come to my home and eat with me or sometimes you feel scared? Not really. Like I'm feeling more interested. I like I'm so I, I like to trust and I think that if I will trust to to people to to the world that will give me only good stuff. So maybe sometimes it will kill me. But I hope that no. I hope. <laughs> but if it will be like that, that's such a pity but that's also a good end of my life will be but also it give me a lot of adventures a lot of opportunities that usually people want to scare because of scare because of fear that it's not interesting and so on but now i have a really good story i have a really new good friend he's 17 his name is murad and he's georgian what the hell? <laughs> and also he was telling me that he was really rich when he was younger. He was telling like, I have 23 millions of rubles when I was younger. That's like 23 millions. It's like maybe... Maybe 10... 10,000 weird dress. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you, you know, if you have like 23 millions of rubles like in this time you can buy a really good apartment in the Moscow or you can buy a house in Georgia and you will have a lot of money still so maybe he was really rich some some maybe a lot of years ago because also he was telling me that oh do you like my house and he was like yeah, that's a really good house and like it and I like that there is a really good uh, design and there is a really good rooms and he was like yeah I have bought this like recently like maybe two months ago and I was like wow who are you you're 17 and you still have money to buy houses I want <laughs> maybe do you do you want to get a daughter or something? <laughs> like, I will be really glad. <laughs> so now I just have a friend that I also need to go to him, his home right now. And oh. he wanted to buy me um, an oil. <laughs> he just was talking with me on the phone. And he was like, I, I was like, I was going to shop. And after that, I will go to your home. And he was like, shop? Yeah, buy me oil, please. I was like, okay, I was thinking you are rich, but that's fine, boy. <laughs> that's the story of my friend. Maybe if we will meet to, to, tomorrow, maybe, or just today, it just will be a, a lot of new stories with this man. See you later, and I will talk about <laughs> this. Maybe new wedding dress, maybe just a wedding. <laughs> I don't know.